Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Hey, welcome to this special episode of True Talk. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, it's Valentine's Day, and so we're going to be talking about something juicy related to Valentine. Mm. If this is your first time joining True Talk, you are welcome. This is True Talk with Ted, an online platform that is aimed at connecting the world to God through the word of truth. Mm -hmm. And we are Ted, Tolu, Ella, and Dara. Dara. So you are welcome. Mm -hmm. So. Let the singles breathe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Should we? Uh, should we? I know, right? It's not like we're talking in game. It's not intentional. It's not intentional. But we're here for you singles. <laughs> we're, here, we're here today for you guys. So, when it comes to Valentine, there's always this, you know, euphoria in the air. There's love. Mm -hmm. There's giving gifts, receiving gifts. There's mm -hmm. that hype, you know, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. About yes, giving yes. gifts. And there's a tendency for it to get to people who are actually single mm -hmm. who don't have anyone to give gifts or to receive gifts from and so sometimes mm -hmm. you are just scrolling through your timeline you're seeing back to back videos and clips mm -hmm. of people showing love and mm -hmm. receiving love and then you're like god when, when? <laughs> well unfortunately we can't answer that question for you yeah. yet because i mean like you're asking god literally but we can encourage you we can you know cushion the effect of that the pressure, pressure that you may be going through during Valentine mm. period. So, um, as a single, how do you deal with pressure that comes from, you know, Valentine season and generally? Anyways? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, um, number one, I'll, I'll I'll start. You can have a lovely time with friends of mm -hmm. like minds or like statuses. Single friends, mm -hmm. you can have a nice time with them. Remember when I was in school, when, when whenever it's that period, and you know there's flowers everywhere, lovely, <laughs> everywhere just red and white and two by two. <laughs> I just baked, I just meet like two or two, two or three of my friends. I will put money together. I'm gonna buy cake for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And glory to God, I had roommates that almost. I think I think we, we all were single except just one of them that was happy to share our cake with us. <laughs> <laughs> like our relationship, so we just put money together went to we call the Busa house backlog investors association house and we got a big cake we, we took it to the room we locked our door wow. and we ate <laughs> we ate the cake with joy and glee and then it was a nice time so you can actually just hang out with friends mm -hmm. that you know and just have a good time with them it's not it's it's not wrong or unbiblical to have mm -hmm. to have a good time with your friends so yeah self-love is actually yes yeah. it's, it's very good mm -hmm. because it's very therapeutic yeah you don't have to wait for someone to love you before you feel yeah. loved yes. love yourself know that god himself loves you get something mm -hmm. nice god loves you like i mean you don't have to wait for human being to love you before mm -hmm. you feel complete so yes. take mm -hmm. care of yourself love up for yourself mm -hmm. yep. you know, gel with yeah. friends of like yeah. minds like you yeah. said yeah okay you can also spend time with god i mean who Day else <laughs> who else I know, right? than the lover of your soul yeah. so spend you can you know create do like date night with mm -hmm. god set the table or just you know plan something out just you and god and mm -hmm. have that moment you can use it as your quiet time yeah. and just enjoying the love of god mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. so don't let the pressure get to you. Basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and engage yourself. Make sure make sure you don't give your mind the opportunity to just, you know, think and be idle. Yes. Yes, because an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. when you're idle, that's when the devil starts suggesting honest free thoughts mm -hmm. to you. That's why don't you just go ahead and go on this dating app mm -hmm. just to find somebody and so on and so forth. Please or or go ahead and look for somebody that is also looking for somebody mm -hmm. and then both of you yeah. find each other and it can be a very messy <laughs> situation that you get yourself into. Yeah. So or just you start considering Doing somebody that you that, know you would never exactly, consider that's a massive red flag just because yes. of Valentine. So please don't put yourself under such mm -hmm. you know state. So yeah, engage yourself mm -hmm. positively. Yeah, perfect. So speaking of pressure, there's, there's another form of pressure that people tend to fall on that during that Valentine season, and it's mostly ladies, I believe. Mm. For you know, for guys who have bought them gifts and pampered them and taken care of them, and it's not asking mm -hmm. or demanding for sex. That's mm. another form of pressure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I believe. <laughs> no, no, don't let me put it in believe because now that there's so much controversy about premarital sex, but mm. the Bible has, yes. it has a standard, and the standard mm -hmm. is still the same till yeah. tomorrow. So, even if the world is doing it, even if Christians are doing it, just your, your God standard is still the same. Okay, don't, don't give in because it's Valentine's Day, because yeah. this guy has spoiled mm -hmm. you pink, red, white, mm -hmm. whatever color. Uh, has taken your beard, has pampered you, has shown you love. Guys can go any length just mm -hmm. to get what they want. So yeah. don't don't sell yourself cheaply. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you are worth much more than what chocolate and cake and yeah. whatnot. So yeah. 
stand your ground. Just, you know, remain steadfast in the word of God and the principles. And of course, I'm talking about singles. <laughs> singles. If I am married, I don't say because... I'm <laughs> because single. we heard from True Togo. Please. <laughs> Please. I don't say because my price is more than... Your hands off. Already <laughs> married. <laughs> Do as you please. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and then we're not even going to address the fact that you're even with somebody that's yes, with request. Yes, I was going to say that. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you're not you're not supposed to be yes. the man that even uh, you know sees that as something that is rightfully okay, his when he hasn't even given. <laughs> I mean, paid your dowry when he hasn't taken you to the altar when when you know you've not been joined together mm -hmm. as husband and wife. You're not supposed to be in such relationship at this time mm -hmm. yeah. you know so um yes so we yeah. have to first mm -hmm. <laughs> emphasize clear that, that yes. clear that and yeah. then another thing i want to even say because some people they all they believe that Valentine is not biblical it's not scriptural it's not so on and so forth if you are in that school of thought no problem there is nothing wrong with you choosing mm -hmm. not yeah. to celebrate to see it as another day of the another day of, of in in, in yeah. the week or in the year there's nothing wrong for you to so it does mean you should now start pushing that thoughts on other people and then making them feel bad i'm, I'm saying this because some people will come out and on the conversation and start saying that to talk don't talk about <laughs> there's nothing wrong with you um saying that it's just another day no problem feel free to just mark it as another day and mm -hmm. enjoy your life in christ yes yes and then also feel it's important to note that valentine's day um be careful what you also do because that day, due to the excitement and enjoyment, some th some people cutting couples may not intend to go all the way, mm. but at that point, and I don't know what happened. It's the devil. Yeah, so is. even though you are going to, you are, yeah, you're cutting. You want to express love to each other. Still, don't forget your boundaries. Mm. Don't throw your boundaries away on that yeah. day. Yeah, so speaking about married people, different people have different upbringing, different mm -hmm. ideologies of Valentine, or even different love languages. They show love in different, mm -hmm. different ways. Okay, yes. So you as a person may be the gift person, the gift giver or gift receiving person, mm -hmm. and your spouse may not be. Mm -hmm. Okay, He may not have even grown up in a setting where, mm -hmm. you know, gifts are exchanged on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> we have come on behalf of your spouse. <laughs> like, if you find yourself in a situation... Where you bought heaven and <laughs> earth for your spouse, and it's like okay <laughs> hey my god <laughs> Please do not and you build castles that oh my god it's going to give me exactly. this exactly it's going to you know do stuff for me mm -hmm. and the day just comes and goes Ooh. like that and you've already gone all out <laughs> please don't on the day of valentine cause havoc in your marriage <laughs> don't let it be the beginning of strife don't yeah. let it you know i'm sorry yes that's very true and oh, you know as, as a couple you can always communicate yeah. so if for example valentine has gone and you don't like what happened you could just tell them that oh i was expecting gifts today or just yesterday and i didn't get any and i'm, I'm really a gifts person you know just mm. communicate yeah, you don't have to now bottle it up and say my husband not get me anything he doesn't love me he doesn't nah, care about you don't me. exactly don't equate don't no have to journey to, to that yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's we're just coming on behalf of your spouse, mm -hmm. for your, you know, yeah. Yeah, and I also, I also like to add to this. Um, I would like us to also, especially ladies in this area, because we are we are, we are guilty of this. Okay, let's also be understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some people that are, also for cutting couples know the state of your spouse mm -hmm. or your um, husband to be. Mm -hmm. You know that he's is intentionally probably um, saving mm -hmm. for the future, mm -hmm. saving for the wedding, yes. saving for his education, saving for a land, so on and so forth. You know that he's intentionally even eating maybe one square meal a day and then valentine's day you are ah my god you've already you've bought teddy bear wine for him and then he was like ah thank you so much darling thank you thank you and all he says is i love you i love you and then you're like how dare you i thought you love me so you should please also understand yeah. their states as well because some might not be able to afford you know some might not be able to pamper you the way you will love to be pampered at that time so just try to understand and support mm -hmm. you know and then just save all that all that you know thing for the future and also i'm not talking to those that believe just because they can't afford maybe a fifty thousand naira teddy bear or so they they they, they don't bother mm -hmm. and i'm saying this because i know of somebody mm -hmm. who um okay this person this person has a wife or had a wife and then she had just done so much for the family and then he was he didn't have a lot mm. with him at that time. And then the wife was expecting something, something. like an appreciation that maybe mm. like a dinner in a, an expensive restaurant or something. Or, but then he, he understood her taste. Mm. And then because he felt, ah, I don't have 
So he didn't even bother. Oh. Meanwhile, she's somebody that doesn't even mind even little things. Even exactly. Things exactly. exactly. Because her love language was actually gifts. Oh. So she was now heard that, why can't you at least just, even if it's something little, and then yeah. they finally communicated because it was actually heated. <laughs> like they could, they didn't talk to each other for days. Oh, wow. But later, she, you know, she was like, but, but all she wanted was just an yeah. act. You know, or just an expression mm -hmm. of love to say thank, thank you to show you. that you actually took cognizance of what she did. And then he was he he was very sorry because he saw that even if he just got a bottle of wine, mm -hmm. she would have. So please, no matter what you have, it's actually the intention that matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, especially if you know that you have a partner that has gifts mm -hmm. <laughs> or his or her love language. So I just wanted to put that out there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So having said this, we um we hope you enjoy your Valentine, <laughs> and always remember that. The root of love is God. Yes. God. So any love that is out of God is not love. Yes. Any mm -hmm. love that is that is um, mm -hmm. merged with sin mm -hmm. or you know any giving yeah. of gifts that is coming from hidden intentions hidden is intention, not of yeah. God. All oh, right. So once again, happy Valentine. Happy we hope Valentine. you enjoy Day. this episode. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> so look, please pray for us. Okay. Father, in Jesus' name, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this episode. Thank you, thank you Lord, because you are love. Without mm -hmm. you, we, we wouldn't know what love is all about. Mm -hmm. We pray, oh God, for as many that are watching this episode, that you will continually reveal yourself to them as the one who is love in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I will pray for homes, for marriages, for courtships, that, oh Lord, that you they, it will continue, their marriages and homes will continue to radiate the love of Christ in the name of Amen. Jesus. We pray for unity and peace in, the, in our homes, in the homes of our viewers in the mighty name of mm -hmm. Jesus. And Lord, we ask, Heavenly Father, that at the end of everything, we are focused to glorify your name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Pray for as many people that have hidden agenda for this day. Mm. We pray, oh Lord, that you will touch their hearts, Amen. that they will not do evil. Rather, Amen. they will do good and do what is pleasing in your Amen. sight in the name of Jesus. Amen. So as many that have decided to sell themselves cheap today, Lord, we pray that you will touch their hearts Amen. in the name of Jesus. You will draw them close to yourself. You will reach out to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, in Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching. We hope you Thank were blessed you. by this episode. Please follow us on our social media platforms on Instagram, True Talk with Ted, Facebook, True Talk with Ted, and you can send us an email, um, True Talk with Ted at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next time. Bye. 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 Bye.